conservatorship is a legal status in which a court appoints someone to manage a minor's or incapacitated person's financial and personal affairs. A conservator may also act as a guardian, which is responsible for establishing and monitoring the individual's physical care as well as managing their living arrangements. With a vast amount of wealth, Hollywood celebrities are often the demographic to be covered by this, to protect themselves and to protect their interests. Hi, welcome to You Wanna Watch, and in this video, we're going to talk about Hollywood celebrities with conservatorships. Starting off our list at number 8, we have Casey Kasem. Kemal Ammon Casey Kasem was a prominent voice actor and radio personality who played Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. Casey Kasem, who was born in Detroit, Michigan in 1932, has had a miserable existence since he was a child. His parents split while he was a child, and his father was killed in a car accident in 1955. In 2007, Casey, the American Top 40 host, was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. However, it was not until his daughter Carrie broke the news in 2013 that the truth became public. When she revealed a few months later that his illness was Lewy body dementia, another disorder that often has the same effects as Parkinson's disease, the whole situation became hazy. This is how Casey, a formerly healthy radio personality and voice actor, became embroiled in a tumultuous conservatorship case. Casey's ability to talk had been taken away by the sickness, and he was soon a conservatee. Following that, a battle erupted over who would be granted guardianship of the ill Casey. His older children desired to spend time with him, but his second wife, Jean, made it increasingly impossible for them to even approach him. They petitioned the court for conservatorship over their father's medical care, but it was denied in November 2013. Jean also relocated Casey from a nursing home in Santa Monica, California, to avoid interaction with her stepchildren. Casey's daughter, Carrie, managed to gain conservatorship rights as his father's legal guardian despite Jean's constant agitation. Vegetation. At first, though, this was merely a temporary situation. Carrie was awarded conservatorship rights on May 12, 2013, and they were intended to run until June 20, 2014. As the deadline approached, a hearing was held to determine if Carrie should be granted permanent guardianship of Casey. Casey Kasem passed away on June 15, 2014. This change in opinion was investigated by a hastily authorized investigation into Casey's whereabouts after he was reported missing in the United States. Jean, on the other hand, was was later discovered to have moved him to Washington State, away from everyone else. He was taken to a hospital in Washington State, and the court eventually ordered that his elder children and wife, Jean Kasem, be allowed separate visits. This was due to Casey's condition deteriorating day by day. Due to his death, Casey Kasem was unfulfilled in his wish to see his entire family reconciled. He was 82 years old, and the immediate cause was infection from bed sores. Mike and Carrie, on the other hand, filed a lawsuit against Jean, accusing her of elder abuse and the wrongful death of their father. The lawsuit was settled in 2019 after a lengthy inquiry due to a lack of evidence to prove genocide. Casey was estimated to be worth $85 million at the time of his death. At number 7, we have Randy Meissner. Randy Meissner, the co-founder of the Eagles and bassist, lost his wife Lana Meissner to an unintentional gunshot in 2016. That loss paired with his diagnosed bipolar disorder, a traumatic brain injury and substance abuse left Randy unable to care for himself. Randy agreed to be placed under a temporary conservatorship that year. He made his own request, telling the judge, I just want to get over this, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Randy's friend Arthur Ford and accountant Tom DeLong were named temporary conservators by a Los Angeles judge. However, not everyone was delighted with the choices. James Newton, who saw himself as a longtime friend, wanted a different conservator chosen. Because of Randy's recent mental issues, the judge and James chose Frume Labo, a social worker with a long history, to perform the role instead of Randy's other friend and accountant. Randy is still under conservatorship as far as anyone knows and only appears in public on rare occasions. At number 6, we have Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney and his estate were placed under the temporary conservatorship of Michael Augustine in February 2011, following reports that $400,000 had gone missing from the actor's accounts. At the same time, his family was entangled in a long feud, and there were allegations of elder abuse, with Chris Burr, Mickey's stepson, being ordered to stay 100 feet away from him after court filings claimed Burr threatens, intimidates, bullies, and harasses Mickey. Until Mickey's death in 2014, the 
conservatorship remained in place. At number 5, we have Joni Mitchell. In March 2015, fans were shocked when singer-songwriter Joni Mitchell collapsed in her Bel Air home. It was discovered that she had a brain aneurysm, which left her unable to speak and unresponsive for some time but she was on her way to recovery. She said she was still struggling to walk after the incident even in 2020. Leslie Morris, a friend, was appointed her conservator at the time to provide for temporary care, maintenance, and assistance, a role she remained until at least 2015. Joni's lawyer said that she has made great progress toward recovery, but she lacks the capacity to make informed medical decisions. At number 4, we have Brian Wilson. The Beach Boys were known for being upbeat, but they were also struggling with some serious issues behind the scenes. Brian, Carl, and Dennis's father Murray had been tremendously abusive to the boys as they grew up, which contributed to Brian Wilson's mental troubles. Wilson's psychotherapist, Dr. Eugene Landy, took control of everything once he was diagnosed with the bipolar schizoaffective disease. Brian and Eugene became business partners and built an extremely close friendship. According to family members, Eugene would over-medicate Brian to make him easier to control. Brian even told the Washington Post that Eugene wasn't particularly friendly with me. Brian's cousin, Stan Love, was granted conservatorship to break the shackles. Everything Eugene did to Brian Wilson became public after that, including cutting off all communication with friends and family. We are nearing the end of our video, but before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash you wanna watch 2022 and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash you wanna watch. Okay, now back to the story. At number three, we have Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan, like some very famous female celebrities that started out as child stars, has struggled with a variety of issues. In 2007, she began attending Alcoholics Anonymous meetings and checked herself into a rehab facility. However, things went from bad to worse for her. She had spent six stints in treatment facilities by 2013, and she appeared on Opera to talk about her terrible family life when she was younger. Lindsay's father, Michael Lohan, observed another famous celebrity's conservatorship and approached his lawyer to start the same guardianship for his daughter. Lindsay's father has so far been unsuccessful in obtaining conservatorship, but he is not giving up. Lindsay should hopefully be able to get her life in shape so she doesn't have to go through what others have. At number two, we have Amanda Bynes. Amanda is currently under the legal restrictions of a conservatorship. The Nickelodeon star revealed her bipolar diagnosis on Twitter in 2014. More facts regarding Amanda's drug addiction surfaced after her mental health became public. Amanda's drug use at the time rendered her unable to make rational decisions. As a result, her mother, Lynn Organ, was given the authority to act as her conservator. Amanda, like another celebrity on this list, can no longer make decisions without the permission of her guardian. Bynes turned to Instagram in February 2020 to explain her position to her fans. She also requested their help because she no longer believes she needs the services of a conservator. Despite Amanda's protests, her conservatorship was extended until 2020. In court, Amanda's parents testified that their daughter had been acting erratically, including expressing fear about being monitored and followed. The actress also had a number of run-ins with the cops. She was caught and charged with driving with a suspended license in Los Angeles in 2012. Her license had been suspended after she was charged with driving under the influence and a misdemeanor hit and run. Amanda asked the court to end the conservatorship in February 2022. Amanda's choice to end the conservatorship was supported by her parents and team. March 22, 2022, a court in Ventura County, California, officially ended Amanda Bynes' conservatorship. The ruling brings an end to the nearly nine-year conservatorship and gives Amanda full control of her medical, financial, and personal decisions. The court determines that the conservatorship is no longer required and that grounds for establishment of a conservatorship of the person no longer exist. Judge Robert Lund of the Superior Court issued a tentative judgment on March 21, 2022, which he upheld on March 22, 2022. The court intends to grant the petition for termination and order the conservatorship of the person of Amanda Bynes be terminated. We're all excited and we're all anxiously looking forward to Amanda living a life as a private and normal citizen. Ms. Bynes' parents have both been very supportive throughout the entire conservatorship and have helped her work towards a positive transition into the real world, which was the goal from the beginning of the legal arrangement, said David Esquibias, Amanda's lawyer. Finally, at number one, we have Britney Spears. With her breakthrough single Baby One More Time, Britney Spears catapults to the top of the global pop charts. Her debut album of the same name, released more than 20 
20 years ago, is still the best-selling album by a teenage solo artist. February of 2007, Britney is being pursued by the media amid a contentious custody battle with ex-husband Kevin Federline, claims that she is an unsuitable mother and is concerned about her mental health. She was seen on camera shaving her head in the midst of the tabloid frenzy. A few days later, she repeatedly smashes the SUV of a paparazzo with an umbrella. In 2008, Jamie Spears petitioned a Los Angeles court to place his daughter under temporary conservatorship after stints in the hospital and rehab. He is in charge of her professional life, as well as her estate and financial matters. Later that year, the conservatorship was extended indefinitely. Britney continued to work despite her inability to manage her own affairs. She began a four-year concert residency in Las Vegas in the year 2013 after rebuilding her image with a successful seventh studio album and multiple television appearances. Britney has announced that she is taking a vacation from work due to her father's health problems. Jamie Spears resigns as her conservator later in the year due to his deteriorating health. Britney Spears' lawyers have stated that she no longer wants her father to be engaged in her professional life. Spears is afraid of her father, according to a lawyer, and will not return to the stage as long as he has control. February 2021, a documentary by the New York Times chronicling the pop star's rise and fall, as well as her treatment by the media, sparks widespread interest in her conservatorship. June to July 2021, Britney Spears claims she was drugged, forced to perform against her will, and barred from having additional children under the conservatorship and shocking court testimony. She declares that she would not perform again as long as her father keeps control of her career, and she begs that he be replaced as her conservator. August 2021, Jamie Spears said he will step down as his daughter's conservator when the time comes and promises to help with an orderly transition. Later, he asks the court if the conservatorship should be continued, arguing that his daughter should be allowed to manage her own affairs. At a court in Los Angeles in September 2021, a judge suspended Jamie Spears from the legal arrangement that gave him control control over his daughter's life. Britney will start a new chapter in her life, including marrying her fiancé Sam Asghari without the requirement for her conservator's permission. The couple have been smitten with each other ever since they met on the set of her Slumber Party music video in 2016. What do you think about these celebrities and their conservatorship? Did we miss anyone or anything that you think should have been included? Let us know your thoughts by writing a comment on this video. If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time watchers, thank you for watching our video.